Hi guys, welcome to Ellen Movie. Today we come to see science fiction movies. This film is adapted from the Chinese science fiction writer, Tejana's short story, Arrival. While the pace of the film are a bit slow, the story is brilliant. It's well worth a look. Let's start. Louise is a top PhD in linguistics. While he doesn't he have a few students at his class this day, after turning on the TV. Only then do she find out a UFO that suddenly appeared in Montana. Immediately afterwards, the school pulled up an air defense alarm. All the teachers and students were slash early, and Air Force warplanes sped over. When she got home, Louise continued to keep an eye on the situation. She also learned from the news as a total of alien spacecraft came to Earth. And the next day, a military officer who called himself Colonel Weber suddenly found Louise, because Louise had do an excellent translation for the intelligence service years ago. So the colonel showed him a recording of an alien in the hope S would translate the language, and Louise is surprised at by the contents of the recording. While she still told the colonel, if I wanted to translate the alien language, she would have to go to the scene to communicate. So at the night, the colonel asked Louise to pack his bags at once. They went with them to Montana, and on the military plane, Louise met physicist Tess Donnelly. Together, they'll travel to the alien spacecraft to carry out their mission, and then a short flight, Louise is finally in a tsunami cloud formed by a morning mist. Saw this huge alien ship, known as the Shell by the military. It is about a black stone tablet, quietly suspended in the air. And Louise and Donnelly a series of cross-examination and medical examination also immediately put on protective clothing. Arrived under the alien spacecraft by limousine, and through the elevator, who came to an opening at the bottom of each ship. Then it slowly warmed up the inside of the alien ship's passage, and as the lift continued to rise, the gravity around it suddenly came out abnormally. Several of the bodies floated, and they jumped onto the inner wall of the spacecraft test passage. And in the sound of Louise's nervous breathing, who finally arrived in the middle of the ship. There are a curtain wall with white light, the inside of the curtain wall slowly appeared black fog, and gradually condensed. Then came the huge alien creature with seven legs. Appeared before the crowd. This was the first time to come in contact with an alien creature of Louise. Curious and fearful, in the end of the mission. Louise immediately analyzed the alien's voice, but I couldn't he figured out in all. So in the second mission, Louise the using visual aids. To complete communication and aliens in the form of written language. Her efforts soon gained, and the alien creature is then on the wooden wall. A strange annular pattern is ejected, and it is such as a splashing ink painting, constantly changing. Louise saw the aliens respond also showed a happy smile. Then she is ready to introduce herself to the aliens. But the other side is indifferent. And Louise looked in a plate of active birds, and suddenly took off his protective clothing. And decided to communicate with aliens in the truest of their face, and him even touched his hand directly above the curtain wall. And this time, I got a clear response from aliens. Donnelly saw also took off the protective clothing, and introduced himself to the aliens. With the joint efforts of Louise and Donnelly, a slash alien creatures also seemed to spew their names. It made Louise and Donnelly both happy, while just after a close encounter with extraterrestrial creatures, Louise's consciousness suddenly appeared, some unintelligible memory. As the deciphering of the went on, strange and true memories kept pouring to her. At the same time, alien spacecraft around the world is still suspended in place. These ships also do not produce garbage, does not drain gas, also do not radiate outward, no one knows these ships, or would choose to land in those locations. But the good thing is, a Louise's deciphering, is proceeding methodically. They found the language of aliens is not limited by time, and is an unlinear text. Alien creatures can write an extremely complex sentence in the seconds. Humans need a month to make a simple response. On the other side, because alien photos have been secretly released. Extreme situations have emerged around the world, and online media is even more alarmist clamoring to go to war with aliens, these ideas is even beginning to affect some of the soldiers who is on mission. And the work of Louise, but the also more in the other feel is a little abnormal. More and more unknown memories appear in her mind. Then, Donnelly chatted with Louise. Brought up the theory of Sapolvov, which probably means a person's language habits. Determines the same class he thinks, and likewise. A new language can reconstruct a person's brain. Such a conversation plunged him into contemplation. Because of the rapid progress of deciphering work, Louise is also gradually able to start simple communication with aliens, and just to ask aliens about the purpose of coming to Earth. The other side told her to provide weapons. Such an answer made the military nervous instantly, but Louise also told the colonel. It is possible aliens misunderstood the difference between weapons and tools, so Louise and Donnelly came into the spacecraft again, and began to ask alien creatures about the specific meaning of providing weapons. 
But this time, alien creatures took Louise with him, and wrote the alien language together. Then spewed countless words at once, which Louise and Donnelly do not know. They are actually a bomb behind the A and the other men, and several soldiers had been bewitched by the media. Alien Creatures is full of hostility, and ready to kill them. Good at the critical moment, one of the alien creatures, Louise and Donnelly were introduced into the compartment. Saved their lives, after the bombing stopped the alien ship climbed to a higher position from the ground. At the same time, China has issued ultimatum to aliens. If the alien spacecraft does not have leave within hours, they would launch an attack. And the US military, deployed in Montana, has been instructed by its superiors to keep them on standby and ready to fight. On the other side Louise and Donnelly face full screen of alien language. There is no clue, but Louise is once again caught up in the unknown memory. In S memory, her daughter asked her. Both sides won, more specialized terms, and she is not now. And then Louise woke up suddenly. She is pleasantly surprised to find that Donnelly had made a breakthrough. It turns out of the are only one twelfth of the complete information. The alien's intention is actually to let's race cooperate with each other. And crack this information in order to achieve the win. Donnelly told the military a more professional term is called a non-zero-sum game. And that suddenly triggered Louise's memory, and I managed to tell her daughter the answer. Then, unknown memories continue to emerge. A small flying barn, an experience in a fog. Louise seemed to understand something, and I then went out. And then a high-altitude spacecraft, really launched a small flight compartment. Louise stepped into it, and the small flying barn she lifted up. And took her to the curtain wall, and Louise finally saw the full picture of the huge alien creature. After a brief inquiry, Louise no. Another alien creature is now dying to save them. And for the help Louise wanted to seek, the aliens told him. Louise has a weapon of his own, and the width of the weapons can defuse the crisis. This has made Louise even more puzzling, and she is eager to ask aliens on the purpose of coming to Earth. And in the black smoke-like language, Louise finally understood. The purpose of aliens is to help humans, because in 3000 years, and they would need the help of the beings. At this time, Louise's brain appeared another unknown memory. As is puzzled, the alien told him again. Louise can see the future, the weapon can open the time. Then the alien creature disappeared into the mist. Louise is also sent back to the ground, but the outer star spacecraft suddenly moved. As ships around the world began to their posture, who were led by China. Many countries am ready to attack alien spacecraft, and the war is on the verge. And that's when Louise can meet the future. But began to emerge, and I saw the books she had written on the alien language in the future saw his own speech analyzing the alien language. In an instant, his memory is no longer bound by time. The future is connected to the present, and Louise instantly reads the alien language of full screen. Also learned the mysteries of it. It turns out as aliens call a weapon is actually a gift. And gifts is their language, learning the language. Humans would be able to see the future, while the military has let all the experts evacuate. It seems that war is inevitable. And at a point, Louise saw the future again. China's General Shang met with her months later, and told her on her personal number. Got a new revelation, Louise even if he stole the military phone. Then immediately established a connection with the Shang General quotient, although at first I do not know what's apt to say, but the memory of the future led him. Speaking of the last words of Mrs. Shang's wife, the war is not a hero, would only leave orphans and widows. In the end, General Shang is struck by Louise. Immediately lifted the state of alert, and many countries followed in the S footsteps began to share the alien language R had acquired, and is ready to the together to piece it together into a whole. And at this point, alien ships around the world is starting again. Then slowly disappeared into the clouds, and Louise gradually saw everything in the future. She came together with Donnelly, because of the experience, and there have a children. Louise named her daughter Hannah. This is a name, a alien language, a non-linear loopback. In the same time, Louise foresaw her daughter would suffer from terminal illness. Also foresaw the Donnelly, because can not bear. And the chose to believe, but the even so. Louise still chooses to face it all, because she understands if her whole life is doomed. All it could do, then, was to accept the unstoppable fate. And embrace all the joys and sorrows along the way. If you like this video please subscribe us, and like share and comment. Thanks for watching.